Our next topic is enabling digital service delivery. Service providers building a telco cloud are building a single cloud environment that supports the creation and delivery of next-gen services with guaranteed performance and availability. With a focus on automation, this telco cloud joins the service providers network with other cloud entities that is data centers, the public cloud, edge cloud and private enterprise clouds. The Telco Cloud federates these cloud entities, providing visibility, orchestration and management across the combined entities. The value is in the flexibility and agility of the Telco Cloud. It adapts to service providers' business needs as they evolve their operations and their businesses. With a single abstraction layer across multiple cloud environments, a Telco Cloud provides scalability efficiency, reduction in complexity and reduction in cost to allow service providers to do many things, including the following. First comes, start with infrastructure as service offerings, then add platform as a service, software as service and containers as a service offerings when it makes sense for their business. Second, Securely host their own and third-party services in a multi-tenant environment. Third, quickly scale their resource pools up and down to meet new demands. Fourth, easily move workloads among data centers to ensure performance, improve resource utilization and recover from faults. Fifth, tie customers into their data center resources. Sixth, support real-time latency sensitive applications and services as well as non-latency sensitive offerings. Next is support next generation services such as immersive video communication services that require real-time video processing in the cloud and real-time communication application that are hosted in the data center. Eighth, support service automation through one or more types of cloud stacks. Ninth, Support scalable cloud management for more dynamic service provisioning and growth of industry services. Service providers have many years of experience meeting service level agreements for business critical services. In a telco cloud environment, service providers can offer end-to-end -end SLAs. These SLAs can cover first, performance requirements and benchmarks, second, actions in case of failure, third, data security, fourth, data privacy, fifth, compliance with industry accountability and accounting practices and policies, sixth, audits and real-time analytics to monitor compliance, seventh, ensure that covers incidents such as data center security breaches, eighth, technical support, ninth, acceptance period, tenth, termination clauses, risk management and assistance. 11th, end-to-end -end SLA integrity and accountability. All these SLA opportunities aside, SLAs in a software-driven network are very different from their hardware-driven counterparts. In a software-driven network, SLAs are met from a platform level, not a resource level, as they are in a hardware-driven network. The platform works in real time to manage the assurance of performance, leveraging all available resources, not by guaranteeing individual performance resource by resource. This means the way in which communication service providers scope projects and build requests for proposal RFPs need to change. Among many processes and procedures that need to be changed to support a more software-centric operating models, CSPs need to amend the way they engage their vendor partners. Here I conclude this topic. Hope you understand all the concepts clearly. Meet you in the next topic. If you have any queries, please get in touch with us by typing your comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe to our videos. So what are you waiting for? Join us for the course and do subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon. Also, if you like our videos, don't forget to hit the like button and share our videos.